This is Faroz Visor of dsdatabase.org and today we're going to talk about PDF handling on the Kindle Paperwhite 2. Uh, this is an updated video compared to many that are circulating on the web because of the Kindle Paperwhite 2's 5.4.3 update. This was fairly recent and quite unexpected because this should be uh, late into the, uh, the Paperwhite 2's life cycle. Now, the 5.4.3 update includes other things like managing collections, um, multiple dictionaries. Uh, they're all good stuff, but I'm going to focus primarily on PDF handling and what 5.4.3 has done for the Paperwhite 2. So here we have two Kindle Paper Whites. Uh, this one is on the left is running the 5.4.3 update, while this one on the right is still running 5.4.2. Um, you can see that once you boot up the PDF file, uh, they're they're fairly similar. Um, we can change and adjust the contrast settings. This will bring it lighter and darker. And for me personally, I, I like it the darkest um, just to get the sharpest sort of text. This is available on uh, the previous update as well. However, it is uh, in a different area for setting. Now, if you notice, um, it seems that the 5.4.2 update does change it a little faster. And I've noticed that it boots up PDF files a little bit faster as well. However, the big plus of the new update is that it handles uh, things a lot quicker and smoother. This is in terms of zoom and um, panning. Right now, I've booted this so that it's a full page on each side. Now, um, this is a textbook for ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. So even in terms of regular text, you're not really going to want to read this um, in this format. This is meant to be probably eight and a half by 11 paper, uh, regular sized paper shrunk down to a six inch screen. Previously, um, with the 5.4.2 update, um, zooming is very slow, unresponsive. Um, you know, if you're trying to see one diagram, that might probably work, but the only real solution I had was really to tip it on its side. So if we go into landscape mode, that's a little bit closer to um, what you would be reading. However, it's still a bit small. Again, zooming is not ideal. It's very slow, um, nothing you'd expect uh, from, say, a tablet. Uh, this is in part because of the e-ink screen, which is slow to refresh, um, but also because of how it's being handled. So let's just change it back to the right um, size. And now if we take a look at the new update, you can see that zooming is a lot quicker. And that's because it's not trying to dither the text immediately. It's giving you some chance to zoom in and out before trying to redraw the image. Again, panning is not going to be ideal. It's not as if it's a tablet. However, you can see it's significantly faster than before. You can see very hard to maneuver on the old firmware, much faster on the left. Um, it, the increments, whether it's um, because of its smoothness or by design, uh, you're able to control it a little more accurately. So if I want to anchor the 17 at the bottom, uh, that's fairly doable, but um, 
you know, it's very tough to try and get the 20 on this side anchored on the right. Um, so it's very tough and you can see that we ran out of memory, whereas this one I haven't encountered that problem as much. Now, uh, in terms of handling PDFs, I still recommend tipping it on the side. Um, this is really a hardware issue. Um, you know, it's it's a six inch screen, so I still prefer to read PDFs on landscape. But nevertheless, uh, this update has been significant in terms of how I can read PDFs. So that's really all there is to this quick little demonstration. It's really just to show the speed side by side with um, with uh, something of the older firmware. So I hope you've enjoyed and um, just keep in mind that if you're looking at other videos, checking out the PDF capabilities of the Kindle Paperwhite 2, that it is quite outdated for the most part and the new update makes it a lot easier to work with. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. Thank you.